The infamous MV Derbyshire, a bulk carrier that sank in 1980. Now, what is a bulk carrier? A bulk carrier is a ship specially designed to transport unpackaged bulk cargo, such as grains, coal, ore, steel coils, etc. in its cargo holds. A great example of this type of ship is the great SS Edmund Fitzgerald, which sank in 1975. Now, what makes the Derbyshire mystery a mystery? Well, the way her wreck was laid out on the ocean floor probably stunned a few researchers in one way or another. Now I'm here to piece together on how the MV Derbyshire might have sunk. Please take note that these are just theories on how she sank and not how the wreck could have been, you know, rested on the ocean floor. It's just a theory, don't take it seriously. My first theory is that she was an old ship. Old ships typically have structural issues along their hulls, which developed cracks when she was riding out the storm. And then a huge massive wave somehow managed to break into her cargo hulk, which filled her up with thousands of gallons of water, which is a bad sign for a heavy ship like the Derbyshire. Right after like the Edmund Fitzgerald, she took a nosedive into the seafloor, which within impact broke her back. But that still doesn't explain on why her mid pieces are everywhere. Well, let's go to my second theory, and it's probably the theory that is most accepted in the community. The whole implosion theory goes like this. The front of the ship, you may had noticed by now, has a small hatch cover protector of sorts, which protects the hatch cover from the waves coming in from the front. They're usually tall to prevent this from happening, but on the Derbyshire, it's kinda lacking, and it's also short, which allowed waves to break over the front and into the cargo holds. As she sank lower and lower, she experienced what Titanic stern experienced. The pressure outside of the hull was too great for the ship to handle, causing the ship to implode. Once the ship imploded, her hull, well, the remains of her hull, was scattered miles away from the bow and stern before laying in her final resting place. Well, that's all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Special thanks to the loyal subscriber Lolmander for this video suggestions. Thank you very much. Um, be sure to check him his like content out. I don't know if he has any content. He probably does. And I'll see you on the next one.